and I just arrived in the very, very city area. They're complaining about uh, RPG and gunfire coming from a mosque on the street. People are gathering. Soldiers have stopped. And allegedly, the fire has come from down the street. And over here, we have a guy, a soldier, living down the street to see if there's any, anything coming. And since the Americans have arrived, all the firing has seemed to have ceased. Iraqi soldiers convinced that there's firing coming from down, down the street after Shoji. And um, yeah. I'm not welcome. welcome this man is a welcoming welcome. Americans. You're pleased to see the Americans? Yeah, we want to see the Americans. Yeah. It is difficult to us here. On and all the day, uh, a fire. From here and from here. From, here. from where? Where is the firing coming from? Down here? From here, yes. What, what is down there? From that room, from small uh, room. Uh, okay, we've been ordered to remount up, so it's time to get back in the cabin. Look for more gunfire. Well, the Al Mujerim Mosque, and just to show, show how complicated this street is, or this area is, this is actually a Sunni mosque, and it was the Shias that were saying at the bottom of the street where we were earlier that it was the. And that was a gunfire, that's good to cover. We were just going for cover. This, 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 this. And now getting pot shots. Oh, I'm going with the American troops. And they look to see you know, where the um, firing is coming from. Saying it's over there. From uh, hey, that's in three seconds. Three. We're not going to send the. I'm be round. I was saying earlier, this is actually a Sunni mosque. And it was Shia's that I was with earlier who were saying that the um, Sunnis had been firing at them. But with the damage to the mosque here, it looks like they've come under heavy fire. And this was the mosque where the gentleman this morning was brought to the cop had been shot. And as I said, unfortunately, he died later today from his wounds. Hey, you move up with them. The Humvee's now going in. Now moving up the street. Let me see where the gunfire's come from. to the left of the roof of the building where they expected the government was firing from the sergeant keeping an eye on the left. Yeah, I got it. He's got it. The three soldiers have just run in to um, he's firing. That sounds like him. 16 gunfire. And uh, I thankfully crushed behind the Humvee. I got you covered. We need to get a decent picture. It's okay, it's okay. Right. Oh, you're a little taller than I am, too, Mike. It's not fair, bro. And here we have the ice. This guy was up there on the roof, right by that antenna dish was up there, and we fired him up pretty good, I think. Where's that coming from? You see it? Gunfire, 
motherfucker was shooting right at me. Yeah, did you see where it come from? Sir? Yeah, it's 12 o'clock. Inside that building with the white grapes, keep your eyes on it. That's where the flashes were coming from at 12 o'clock. We're right behind the Humvee. Yeah, we're behind. Now I ventured further down the street. The gunmen have escaped to a further house. The American soldiers are waiting to go in. And, uh, I'm wondering whether the Legion will stay up this season. It's quite. Uh, uh, it's getting the heartbeat going. It's extremely hard to get decent pictures. Gambi, you're moving with them. Yeah, I know. I got you. that vehicle, into that house, just moving with the uh, Humvee, that's the shaky camera movement, we're waiting to hear more pop pops, uh, this can't be easy for the soldiers because these narrow enough streets but buildings that rise up and down with vantage points for any sniper or gunman to, um, to shoot from. Uh, to get a couple of rounds off and then run and hide. 